Okay, so today, guys, I'm going to be telling you whether or not the cruiser is worth it. So let's just get right into this. First of all, let's talk about speed. So compared to literally like the two other um, water vehicles, it's kind of slow. But at the same time, if it was on land, like not land, but compared to land vehicles, it's about the speed of the Model 3. But personally, the speed I would buy, like I bought it, <laughs> clearly I bought it already, but if I had it, I would have bought it again because the speed is pretty good. Compared to the jet ski, it's a little bit slower, but it's still it's still worth it. But then the location is where I have the problem. Since it's only since it only spawns at the cargo port and at the secret at the island base, island prison, I mean, it's kind of not worth it. Cause first of all, the only time you're gonna be at the island prison is if you got caught, and if at that point you probably have mobile garage and you would just drive back onto land under the water. There you go. No reason to spend thirty five thousand dollars. And if you're at the cargo port, you could also get the jet ski, which is 10k less and faster than this. The only thing that it loses is the one seat capacity. And honestly, I have never been a fan of water vehicles that much because I never go. There's no reason for me to go on the water. I'm more of like the aerial. I like to. I'd like to get the army, the birdie, and all that. But even on, as you can see right now, you could take. I mean, you technically can take it on land, but. Yeah, you, you see what I mean now. So, also the steering, it's like if you're just driving straight, if you're going straight ahead, it's not like some doom buggy or anything acting all crazy, but just driving straight ahead is fine. If you go to, if you gain too much speed and then try to turn, it's going to overturn a little bit. But other than that, if you're just like, I mean, if you're trying to do a little light turn, it can do that just barely, then it'll be just fine. But I don't want to have to do like, have to th be thinking in my mind to do extra stuff just to make it turn normally like the jet ski would. So, overall, plus the pr fact that it's $35,000, which actually isn't a lot, but compared to the jet ski, that's $25,000, and it's faster, and in my opinion, it just looks a little bit cooler, I probably wouldn't buy this. The only reason I would buy this is because if I was just, say, I'm stranded here, oh man, I just got arrested, I would jump out, may, I've, I've thought, like, I, this has happened to me multiple times, so, I've decided whether, I don't, and I personally do not have the mobile garage, so... I was saying, would I rather sit here and spend $35,000 or swim to land that's like, I don't know, 45 feet away? I'm going to swim it, <laughs> clearly. And even if you don't have mobile garage, you can still just spawn a Camaro or a Jeep. But in my case, I'm usually always playing with the K to the Pleb or LD Plays. So usually they'll just come pick me up in the Army or their Birdie. But I mean, in your case, if you're playing solo, which a lot of people are, then just spawn a Camaro or a Jeep. There's no reason to waste $35,000 on a vehicle you'll probably use once a month if you get stuck here. So overall, I would not buy this. I'm not saying it's not cool, because in my opinion it is. I'm just not trying to waste the few dollars I have. And just to let all of y'all know, I think it's now the time to grind, because if you didn't know already, on Saturday or Sunday this weekend, there's going to be a new car called the Airtail for $600,000, and I'm already saving up for it. And this video already started eating in those funds. So I'm going to start grinding with K to the Pleb so we can get a video saying if it's good or not out to y'all. But even if it isn't good, I still recommend buying it in case it gets taken away at some point in time. But thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.